Hello, welcome back to once again another Booga Booga Reborn video. Now, today we're going to be going over the number one farming method in the game. Now, this method gives me tons and tons of blood fruit every single time. So, this method is actually really overpowered as now they have enabled private server saving. So, if you don't know what private server saving is, it's pretty much if you have a private server inside of Booga Booga, if you leave the game and your builds are placed, you can now rejoin at any point. And your builds will forever be there. So that means if we build a ginormous farm for saying the if we filled every island with blood fruit and plant boxes, then go around in a circular rotation and pick them up, we will have infinite blood fruit. So I've been doing some digging, and my vote is we start filling up this private server and other private servers with just a whole ton of blood fruit all around the map. Now, we, I recommend having a private server, not recommended using mine, as obviously people can come in grief. So, I would recommend having your very own, just in case, with some maybe even trusted people. And I'm going to teach you guys how to also place the blood fruit very quickly. So, what you're going to be needing is the plant box, obviously. I mean, how else are you going to plant your blood fruit? You can't just throw it on the floor and, uh, you know, pick, pick it back up because the bag's full. So, what you're going to do is you want to find a nice straight route. So, per se, let's say right about here. You want to then lean your character about this angle, click your plant box, hold shift. Yes, this is going to be for this is going to be for PC users. You want to hold shift at the clicking. If you are on mobile, it's going to be a little bit harder to build farms. You feel free to reach out to me. I can build you guys a farm for you, maybe for a little bit of gold. You know, because you know your boy does need a little bit of coins. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll do it for free. Just hit me up. Hit me up. I got you. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to click the craft button right there, hold shift, and then click C. Okay. Now, you're going to need an auto-clicker as well for this. So, hold on. Let me grab that up because my slow self forgot. Already, I grabbed up my auto-clicker. So, you're going to press holding shift, clicking the craft button, then auto-clicker time. Now, all I'm doing is holding shift right now. My auto-clicker is running. All you have to do now after holding shift and having your auto-clicker running is you're gonna, just going to hold W. So, what you're going to do. Now, it's going to plant the plant boxes at the closest possible angle they possibly can be to. So, as known inside the Booga Booga history, we've always had a thing called God Farming. Now, that is when the plant boxes can then be placed very, very close to each other, making us farm millions in just a few hours. Now, this was patched um, about a couple months ago because uh, it was a little bit too overpowered, and people still have over... 20 million blood fruit out there just because of how overpowered that method was. Now, me on the other hand, I've stopped farming since then until today when I decided why not make this quick video to help you guys out on how to farm efficiently and the best way to get the most blood fruit. So now that we have built about two rows, you can then tell that these are very, very close together, as but as close together as you're gonna be able to get it going this way. Obviously, you probably can make it a little bit closer side to side, but it's obviously a personal opinion. Now, obviously, it's a little bit harder when you have more heals in your inventory, so it will be a little bit difficult for me. So if I was honestly gonna play this smart, I would eat a lot of this food just so I could be able to go just like this down the line. So what you're going to do is you want your auto clicker going just like this. Now, if you actually think about it, you can then set up a macro doing this exact same thing I'm doing now. An auto clicker and that. And then you're going to need something called a key presser. Now, a key presser is going to be also used the pressing F on your keyboard. So then you can be able to pick things up or you can use your hand if you really are lazy. For example, you would just go like this, spam the F button while walking with your auto clicker still running and it will be clicking and picking up even though while you're walking back and forth. It may mess up, may take a couple tries. You know, it could work. I used this back when uh, God Farming was a thing, and that farms obviously won a lot of heals. The auto farm method was certainly overpowered, as it's technically not exploiting. It is not injecting no scripts. It's just using my handy-dandy tiny task right about here. You know, it records your movements. Uh, if you want some tiny task, you know, I'll link the links down below. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video. Good luck on your blood fruit farming. If you guys do not mind, Go up into my DMs on Discord. If you don't know my Discord, it's uh you know gonna be linked down below, or you can join my Discord server, discord.gg slash JJ Gaming. Hit me up and uh showcase me your farms on your private servers, and maybe even we'll make a video together on uh filling a whole entire map with plant boxes. So if you are interested and have tons of leaves and sticks, and down to do this video with me of filling the whole map with plant boxes, hit me up. Anyways, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys back up on the next one. Let's go.